Mark, what is it you've got there? The Cobra Speed Zone. Reasonably priced, this. Not as reasonably priced as this. Well, let's do it. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, it's James Robinson here and welcome back to the channel. Today we have Mark back on the show. Mark, how are you? Hello, I'm good, thanks James. Excellent, how's the handicap? Handicap is coping quite nicely still. What number? It's 13. 13? 13. 13. 13. Still in the realms of mid-handicap? Yeah, definitely. Today, yeah. <laughs> Cobra King Speed Zone Extreme. Indeed. Against Tor Edge Exotics EXS 220. That's a mouthful. Mouthful, very similar drivers. So both yeah. are quite a big, big head. You'll see when you put them down on the golf ball, quite a lot of real estate behind there. Both have a weight at the back of the club for a bit more high MOI, a bit yeah. more forgiveness. Yes. Both are adjustable lofted. Okay. And both have a carbon crown. Okay. Also both are quite affordable. There, yes. So 330 quiddish, 335 right. quiddish. And, and Cobra led the way, didn't they? Cobra on, did on lead, so with the F9, yeah. they led the way with kind of getting more affordable drives <laughs> yeah, back so in. That's good. Tour Edge have always been fairly affordable. Right. And when I tested this, loads of people commented saying, we need Mark to test it. There's no point in you testing it, we need Mark to test it. So we've got pretty much the same shaft in both, we've got yeah. the same loft in both, and we're just going to test it, Mark. Okay, yeah. So, do you want to go Cobra first? I'll start off with this one, yeah. How uh, nice is that head cover, by the way? It's, uh, it's nice, yeah, it's a nice head cover. For, for 299 with the club. With a diamond face. Diamond cup face, I think it is, but... VFT. VFT, that line. diamond Might face. Be. Triple carbon tech. It says so, okay. uh, Well, I know. We'll come on to that <laughs> shortly. Anyway, boxing. Yeah. So you have been testing this Speed Zone Extreme a little bit, Mark, haven't you? You quite liked it when we first tested it. Yeah, I did. I did. It, would, uh, it was going nicely. Um, quite solid. Quite solid um, driver feel. Oof, that tea peg nearly got me in the eye then. <laughs> not a bad opener. Yeah, not a bad first swing. Very consistent, Mark. Consistently slightly left. Yeah. As you said, that could be down to the shaft. What if now, we put this in your hands. So this is, as we said in the introduction, the Exotics Tour Edge EXS220. Now putting them both down, obviously apart from the blue and the yellow, is it me or are they both very similar looking? Uh, they are very similar. Similar sort of profile, the, uh, the copper has got a slightly more extended back. Both carbon um, crowns. Therefore this one's a little bit deeper in the middle of the, of the head. Yeah. But yeah, they look, look very similar down on the ground. Even if we flip them round then, we look at the bottom of the club. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Very, very, very similar. similar so you looking. get adjustability on both of them. Yeah. But Cobra just has a bit of a stronger name, doesn't it? Than... It does, it does. Yes, because I've never hit one of these. Yeah. I've never hit a tour edge. Well, there's first oh. time for everything, Mark, isn't there? There is. And so if it did perform well for you or as well as anything else would you go with it based on the price it would certainly be an option yes, yes. i mean uh, price price is first and foremost just after performance yeah i think one thing you might struggle with is maybe a fitting how many places carry the fitting carts well, or yes. or even go for a proper full fitting which is one thing you can do with obviously cobra titleist tailor-made callaway ping mizuno yeah. Mizuno probably deserve a mention in this category as well, don't they, with the price of the ST200? They do, yes. Yeah, their, their new driver is, is, is the same, same price bracket as these guys. Straighter. It's straighter. Didn't come out the middle. Yeah. At all. Now, one thing I found when I tested this was when it came out the middle, 
as good as a tailor-made sim. Right. Near enough. When it didn't come out the middle, it was lacking for me. Yeah. Personally. Okay. Okay. Because interesting, there your club speed is up. It's one oh two. Yes. Which is good for you, really. Yeah, it is. But distance, I mean, the spin's high, and the distance just isn't quite there, is it? No. Sound wise? Yeah. Yeah? And one thing which I would say is a bit of a shame, and I, I said this in my video as well, in such as the Cobra, you can have the standard speed zone where you can move where you can move that changeable weight to the front, but they don't yes. offer they don't offer like a sub-zero version or a, a lower Different spin version. version. Right, okay. So just something which I think could help, because I found it spun a little bit too high for me as well. Yeah, and as we know, my spin's not the best mm -hmm. level on off the driver at the moment. Uh, so not being able to reduce it further, it's going to be a, an issue. How did that, it's, I mean, it, that looked like a good swing to be honest, how did it feel? It felt as though, I have to admit, I felt as though I was ahead of the, of, of the, of the head. I was okay. in front of the club. Yeah. Um, I seem to see see the club. Yeah, it did. It didn't feel like a good swing yeah. to me. Right. See if I can get this one. Yeah, let's try and hit one hard. Too high spin, wasn't it? Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice club. Yeah. Uh, price uh, certainly the price puts it into. But so let's just hit a couple more with the Cobra. Yeah. Because to be fair, for thirty quid. Yeah, there's difference. that's not a great deal of difference, yeah. is it? In in uh, in the price. So you, that's still relatively high for you. It is. But it's manageable and the distance yeah. is manageable as well at kind of yes. 240 ish. Yeah. It is. Sure. Right, well, let's go a couple more with the exotic. Let's give it one more chance. Okay. And then we're going yeah. to take up the numbers and see how they perform. I think, I think we already know really. <laughs> Better. Still not quite there, is it? No, it's Got one not. more for good measure and then we'll take a look, but for me, I'm not sure. Right, Mark. Well, plenty of shots hit there with the Torridge Exotics. Yeah. And plenty of shots hit really with the Cobra Speed Zone Extreme. Yeah. Should we take a look at the difference? Yeah, I think that'll be interesting how much of a difference yeah. there might not to be. <laughs> so we'll start with the Tor Edge dispersion. Um, I mean, it's not it's not horrendous, Mark, is it? No. So there's a few which, um, yeah, they're not, not your best. But then what's interesting for me is with the Cobra, now these are the same loft near enough by half a degree. I know we've hit less shots with the Cobra, but look at the difference there in trajectory. Oh, yes. That is slightly incredible, isn't it? Yeah. So, if we talk numbers, on average, the Cobra 232 carry, 240 total, Tor Edge 222. Now, none of those are numbers which, you're not gonna be happy with those anyway, are you? To no. Be fair. no. So not your ideal day swinging with a driver, but that's what mid-handicap testing is for me, really. I think sometimes you're gonna have good days, and sometimes you're gonna have bad days. If we look at the spin numbers, which I think really cost 
the tour edge. The, the tour edge is spinning a thousand RPM more and the ball speed's down by four, even though the club head speed is up by two. Yeah, that's, that's a big difference. Really, that's all you need to know. So if, yeah. if you're going out and playing golf, I've got no problem with those top numbers there, Mark, really, as long as they're hitting the fairway, yeah. but you still need to have. For me, however much we want that to perform, the exotics, the tour edge, it's a great story, it's a great price, it's a great looking driver, it sounds good when you hit it. I think you're finding a similar thing to me, the performance really, when you put it against something like a Cobra or something like a TaylorMade. Yeah, yeah, I mean, whilst I, whilst I, my swing was slightly faster um, and the ball speed was down. Was down. Yeah. Um, so I was, I was, my body was performing better with this, yeah. but it's distance. I wasn't getting the, the turnaround yeah, absolutely. from yeah. this one compared to the Cobra. Yeah, and I think for you it's a dangerous place when the ball speed goes down and spin rate goes up. Yeah. That's yeah. never something that you're going to want to have with a driver, is it? So, no, that's um, right. So, Cobra versus Tor Edge. I, I've nudged the Cobra in front, um, particularly as... Where did, the, where did you get these? Um, I think some pro shops stock them, and I think you can get them online. Right. But you generally... Know, so it's, it's a, how do I get fitted? Yes, it would, would be yeah, interesting. How do I do all that with, yeah. with this particular one? So we do also have the Tour Edge Fairway Woods and Hybrids to test as well, so they're right. going to come in. So yeah. a lot of okay. people said, actually, a lot of people commented on my Tour Edge driver video and said, ah, the drivers have never really been up here, but the okay. Fairway Woods, apparently the Fairway Woods blow everything else out of the water. Right. Okay. So that's going to be really interesting. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, yep. leave us a like if you enjoyed that content, comment below and wish Mark well with his handicap this year because it's flying down. It's got to come down. But apart from that, <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.